I have a very serious question today. If you can answer this, I would greatly appreciate it. Are you one month ahead? Let me know. Come on, let's get into this video. Hi everybody and welcome back. It is Saturday, Saturday evening, and we are saving. What are we saving? We're saving long-term. We're saving with scratch-offs. We are saving daily. We are having fun saving money. Okay. I need to just talk about a few things. And we're going to discuss more things tomorrow night on the live. Now, I go live Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we bring a wealth of of topics to Sunday evenings. Andra, the Traveling and Savings Chief, is going to join me tomorrow night and we were talking today and we have a couple of comments and topics that we want to discuss. I still don't know where my $26 is going so I'm going to leave it there until I know. I read so many of the comments and nothing is like saying, oh my gosh, do that. Maybell, I think it was you. It's the odd number or the the 26 versus the 25. It's getting you, you said. And it gets me too, right? I don't know where I'm putting that. I, I got to think about that. So for now, it's sitting at the back of my cash tray. All right. So somebody asked me. All right, we got to go over a couple of things that were kind of brought to the table. Someone says they've been watching me, but on August 1st, I was, on August 1st, I was sinking money. Where did I get that money from if the first of the month just got here? Well, if you're new and you don't realize this, I saved money from July 1st to July 31st. All the, all the savings challenges that completed get tallied out and then they get sank, right? They get sank into sinking funds. Then I tell you, and that's the last day of the month, right? On the last day of the month, I tally this big blue envelope. On the first of the month, I tell you that I'm going to, to sink it, right? Where's it going to get sank? I go over that. And then I tell you this. First of the month is an extremely busy day for me. Why is it an extremely busy day? Because I do banking. I do banking. I do banking for the entire family. Why is that? Because I think I wear the hat of bookkeeper, right? Um, if you were an accountant, wouldn't you be doing the accounting for your entire family? If you could, I know my girlfriend's brother is the accountant. He's an accountant and he does the accounting for the entire family. So my family knows what they can spend, what they can't spend. If they spent it, how are they going to pay for it? And this is how it works in my hometown village of my family. Me, my husband, my oldest son, TJ, and my youngest son, Vinny, and now one of my daughter-in-laws. Do I pay my kids' bills? I do. Not all of them. Not all of them. I cover two bills. And then I'm going to tell you why I cover those bills. I cover the cell phone, and I cover the gasoline bill. This is why I do this. They have been, they have had a cell phone since they were starting sixth grade. Now, my men are in their 30s. Well, Vinny's 20, oh, 20 and 30s, okay? So, I have one, and my mother-in-law's on my bill. And my mother-in-law. My father-in-law's got his own bill, but I have my mother-in-law. Why? Because... That's just the way it happened in my village here. 
So I paid that cell phone bill. Then when my kids turned 16, they got a credit card. I co-signed on a Disney Chase card. They've had a credit card since they were 16 years old. It had a $500 limit. I taught them what a credit limit is and that when they spent money on that credit card, they had to pay that credit card off on the next due date. My boys both have 845 credit scores and I'm beyond proud of that. Beyond. Okay. What do I do on the first? I zero out everybody's checkbook. Do they have an idea that it's zeroed out? Sure they do. But do I double check it? Yes, I do. Why? Because that makes me happy. I'm a month ahead. DJ's a month ahead. Vinny's a month ahead. Kaylee's a month ahead. Right? Why? Because it takes a village. It takes a village. So, some people wear the hat of accountant. Some people wear the hat of bookkeeper. I also wear a hat, one of probably hundreds, of fleet services. So, in the New York City Police Department, there is a unit called fleet services. They are in charge of anything that has a motor in it. My family has a lot of motors. We have weed whackers, we have tractors, we have riding lawn mowers, we have classic cars, and we have our everyday drivers, right? I am in charge of telling everybody when their oils are, are due. I order the parts because we use advanced auto, and I get rewards for doing that. And I always use retail me not, and I get a kickback, right? So... I do all that. So when a registration comes in, I pay it, and then I get paid back. That's all there is to it. They open their mail, they say, okay, I got a registration due. I log on, I do it, and we're good. It's that work, that works for my family because we all live within a 0.5 radius of one another. 0.5. My sister also. My sister lives in my farmhouse. This week, my husband grabbed her car to go take it to our mechanic to have the underneath oiled. Why? Could she do it? Of course she could. We're in charge of fleet, our fleet. It works. My sister is a primo investment banker. She worked Wall Street. She is the most savvy woman I know. I need something, I go to her. We all bring something different to the table. So I had a comment this week asking why I pay my kids' bills. And they couldn't believe that I paid the registration. Well, I paid the registration, but the funds come back to me. I pay the Home Depot bill, the funds come back to me. I do the banking. Everybody can log in to their accounts at any given time and figure life out. This is just the way it works for our household, which makes life even better because we're all on the same table. Now, why do I still pay my kids gasoline bill and their cell phone? Well, I pay my mom with cell phone, I pay their gasoline because we live and work rural. That's it. We don't go anywhere. 15 mile radius. Our gasoline bill is not extravagant. We don't commute hours to work and hours back home. I'm going to tell you that the reason I do this is, and, it, and it, the reason I do it is because I have been on my own since I was 18 years old. 18. When I was 18, I moved out into a, a woman in the bank. I used to work in the mortgage department of a bank. 
she rented me a room. So it was almost like a single room occupancy, an SRO. And I lived there for a while until I can afford to get my own apartment. Got my own apartment. And let me tell you something. Fortune Offs didn't tell me what debt was. Stearns did not tell me. JC Penney's did not tell me. Crazy Eddie's, The Wiz, they all gave me credit cards. All right, they all gave me credit cards. And what did I do? I used them. I got in trouble, right? We all, we all can make sense of this. My kids did not go through this. My kids carry zero debt. Zero. Zero. So, I'm going to tell you this. My mom died when I was three, and I had... I didn't have a dad in my life. So, if I was able to have one person pick up one bill or help me at one point in my life pay a bill, I might not have been in debt or someone to guide me. Wasn't looking for a handout. I'm still not looking for a handout. I'm just saying I am doing everything that I wish I had someone teach me I do for my immediate family. I hope that this entire little story resonates with you. I am passionate about my family. I'm passionate about you. I'm passionate about getting you to save money every day. The other day, you guys saw yesterday, Vinny called me, he broke down. Did I wanna jump through the phone? To him? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> if you called me and said, Donna, I need you, I'd want to jump through that phone to come and help you. And I don't even know you. I feel like that's my calling. My calling is, in, I feel like I'm selfless. And I, if, I was talking to Andra, the traveling and savings chief today. I said to her, this is my personality. If there was a, a food store shortage, I would give up all my rations for my husband because he loves food. If you needed the shirt off my back, I'd give it to you. If I was in a financial position to pay my kid's mortgage one time a year, which one day I plan on doing that, I'm going to do that. Why? Because that's what I want to do. You guys get to do what you want to do. I get to do what I want to do. And that works for all of us. All of us. If I jump when my kid asks, that's okay. That's my choice. My choice. If you wouldn't jump or you'd make them learn that lesson, that's your choice. Everybody's got to do them. And that's... So I gave you a quick scenario of why I do what I do. And if I could pick up another bill... I would, I'm not in debt. I'm not, I'm not struggling. I'm not taking, I'm not taking something away from myself. I have everything that I can ever want in my life. I jones for nothing. I might want a notebook here and there, but I, I'm good. I'd rather give it to my kids and my husband and my family. With that being said, are you ready to save some money? If you're still with me and you, you understood what I was saying. Um, hashtag, hashtag Donna. Donna. Or leave me a full-blown comment. Whatever works for you. I just needed to tell you why I do what I do. I bank for everybody. I, I, I take care of the fleet for my family. But let me tell you something. If I needed TJ... I'd call him and he'd be here in a second. If I needed Vinny and said, Dad needs you or I need you, he'd be here in a second. If I called my sister or my daughter-in-law, that's the way we work together. We all do. Today is August 3rd, 2024. We are going to have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
15, 16, 17, 18. 185, 87, 89, 91, 93, 95, 97, 99, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 210. I think that's 210. We're going to double check. 1, 2, 3, 20s, which is 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is eleven. Okay. Just to make sure I have the right amount of money and that those twos did not get me, we have sixty. 80, 45, 14, and 11. We have $210. All right. 210. We're going to track it because that's what we do. We track, we analyze, we keep looking at it. Keep, 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 keep it on, keep it on. Okay, it's Saturday. Um, 210. I did not spend money today. And I track the fact that I don't spend money. So I'm going to put a heart right there. All right, we're done with this, but we're gonna bring in an affirmation. And I, I will tell you this, that when I, about 7.30 this morning, the Ford dealership that has Vinny's car, car Vinny and Shannon left them a detailed message with the key. The people were so nice. I was so happy. And they're like, we don't have anybody in the shop today to look at the car. I'm like, that's okay. Look at it during the week. It's like, all right, thank you so much. And they said they would be in touch. I was extremely happy with them. All right. August 3rd, 2024. Our affirmation is this. I will not compare myself to other people. I will not compare myself to other people. That is a topic we're going to discuss tomorrow night on the live. I will not compare myself to other people. Love that. Love it. You can't. Everybody's financial situation is, is different. Everybody's dynamic is different. Everybody's upbringing was different. That's what makes us all unique. All right. Where are we saving? Today is Saturday. So let's begin with a dollar a day. Yes, I did change my mind. Someone asked me. I did. I bounced back and forth. And I decided to make it $4. I don't know why, but it just came out of me. And I'm very happy that I decided to save $4 a day. It worked. So we're grabbing four. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I love it. $12 a day keeps debt away from me. All right. Today we had storms. Um, tonight, today was supposed to be the eel rack um, party on the Delaware River. We have friends that own a spot on the Delaware, and every year they put out they they form. Everybody carries rocks out into the Delaware and creates a formation of rock, so that the eels come down the Delaware and wind up in cages, and then they sell them off because it's a delicacy. So today was the eel rack party on the Delaware, but I did not go because 
it was it was raining and I was not going to get in the Delaware and place rocks out. I was not doing it today. Instead, what I did do was I put up a 16 foot diameter trampoline with my daughter-in-law, which I will put at the end of this video. And then I had to go help TJ and John at the building put up the blink cameras. So your girl's wiped out today. Wiped out. All right. We just did the dollars. I am going to tell you that the Crafty Saver is going to be the hop person tomorrow. Then I go on Tuesday. And then Budget with Mama Bear goes on Thursday. So we have a big week coming up. Big, big week. Let's bring in Roger Rabbit with my beautiful dangle. Thank you, Char. And we're saving, ooh, did I forget this? Okay, I did not forget this. I'm gonna color in that. And it's a cute little cocktail with an umbrella. And we're gonna give that $3 today. But you know what I have to do is this. So we have two, four, five, six dollars saved. I have to write myself a note that we have to do August. August is a daily now. Yep, August is a daily. A dollar a day keeps Christmas away is going to get one dollar. And I love that we, we're doing this. This is for the day after Christmas sales. One, two, three, four, five. We've done this for six days so far. Six days. Um, I don't know if I brought anything for Stitch, so we're going to just wait a second. Um, okay. Nothing here. So let's bring over Salem. Salem's getting money. Yay! Salem is going to get $50. Yes. Um, let's do, let's do this one. We'll color in this ghost. And we're going to give Salem five oh. $50. 20, 40, and 50. John and I started a new TV show last night called Wildfire. Wildfire. It's about, you know, a girl and a horse. And um, if you've ever watched that, hashtag Wildfire. It's actually, we got through two episodes. What do we have? 10, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. $400, we're at the halfway point. That's nice. Very nice. Okay. Then I am bringing over Donna. Oh, you know what? We're bringing over our 5K. 5K. And we've done Moana. We've done Snow White. And we're up to Belle. And I'm going to bring 25. And 25. I'm bringing $50 today. We're catching up. We put this on hold to finish tires. And that's okay. And we're going to give this 50. 20, 30, 40, and 50. So in here we should have 125, it looks like. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's one hundred and twenty-five dollars. All right, the two biggies are done. What is left? We have scratch-off time. I'm gonna need my glasses later, and this is where we're at. We're gonna start with a year of scratch-offs. 
And we are up to, oh, July is done. We're up to August. This is the second time I'm doing this book. Loving it. And I don't know. I'm just going to... I'm just going to start. That's okay. Got seven. And I'd like to give this like $20-ish. Seven and five. Twelve. And keep going in a row. Twelve. Ah, eighteen. I think we're going to do one more. There's always one big number in here. Boy, oh boy. Oh, yes. Is that 22? That's 22, right? Is that what I just added in my head? 7, 5, 6, and 4 is 22. That works. That so works. So we're going to grab 22. Now, I like to keep this finishing like the, for the month. Like, I want to be done with this in the month of August. So, roughly about $25 a week is what I need to bring. And that works. All right. August has now gotten money. Tuck this aside. And we will see this next week. All right. We have... Two other books left. We have Toy Story and we have <laughs> Monsters Inc. going. Now, this one finished, right? That finished. And I left them in here just to show you that they were done. This one finished also, didn't it? Okay, we're up to Boo. All right, we were up to Boo. And I think what we have to do is, I think we need to bring in another, what do we got, Boo? We got Mike in play. So we got three in play. And let's see, what's the first one I can find in my stash? How about we bring in Goof? Labor Day is coming, right? Labor Day is coming, and if you're going to have a barbecue, this is a nice way to save $50 towards that barbecue fee. We're going to start with Goof. What the heck? And he's getting the $10 spot. Okay. Goofy. That works. All right, let's give Goofy 10 all right, let's um, put Goofy here. Let's do this one on Toy Story. Oh, that got 10 also. All right. $10. $10 for Woody and Buzz. 20, 30, 5, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Oh, we might have to come back to this one. We might have to come back. Oh, I said I was going to put Stitch back in here so that you knew that this was a scratch-off combo envelope. Okay, those are the choices for those. Now... We have all of these to color. So I'm thinking I'm going to scratch off and then we'll hit the big ones. I think that's how I want to do Boo. All right, $2 for Boo. I'll grab a $2 bill. We'll do up here. And we got a one. Okay. And we'll do the last scratch off. And now all we have to do is color. And then we got three. All right, we'll grab two and three.
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a $5 bill of that. And in this challenge, we have 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 dollars saved. So we are officially at the halfway point. And let's go back and start one for each. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to ring the bell for the first time today. We're going to do this one. And this one. We're going to grab five. We're going to vacuum. And we're going to ring that bell. That's what we're doing today. 20, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 dollars saved. Grabbing this. And we're going to mark 55 dollars Toy Story. Just like that, we're going to grab our blue envelope. We're putting in our second challenge. And then we're going to grab our tracker because we are adding to the ding, ding, ding. And that would be Toy Story. And we have 288 dollars saved 288 all right gonna keep going now that's done I think that I would like to scratch one off on this we got a five okay I think we need to bring in another one Five, right? We'll get five. So now we have fifteen dollars saved in this. And I think I want to color in the ten. I'm gonna color in the ten. Twenty, forty-five, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and we have sixty dollars towards a one hundred dollar goal. And Mike Wazowski is already um, been scratched. So I'm thinking we scratch this one. Oh, oh my gosh! I did not realize he was a one twenty-five <laughs> challenge. Oh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, boy. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. Wow. We need to start with him next week. That's what we need to do. Um, all right, we're going to scratch one off on her. And that's a good one. That was a very good one. Five dollars. Oh my gosh, that 20 got me. That's okay. Two, four, and five. Five. And in here we have five, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twelve dollars saved. And where are we at? So they're all scratched off. We're only up to coloring, and everything is five dollars left. Woody got completed, so these are done. So unless I get to cre create another one, this binder right now is complete. This needs to come into here, and 
we have two, four, five, and then one, two, three, and four. All right, you know what? Let's scratch. Oof. Hmm. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're going to do another scratch on her. Okay, that works. Five. That works. Let's do that. And let's grab a blue marker. Oh, no, I don't. Five here. I was going to color in one of the ones. Yikes, they make me nervous. Hi, little man. Hi, Iroh. You coming up? Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And I guess maybe we don't have enough to do boo. We don't have enough to do him. We could do one, two, three, four. One, two, three. We'll color in four dollars. And we'll give it to her. Oh, this is this worked out very nicely. I don't know what I would have done without the, this one. That's wild. All right, so $40 gold, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We're over that halfway point. That worked. Okay. All right. I will be back here tomorrow with more saving challenges. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Join me tomorrow on the live at 7 p.m. And I have to, you know what? I have to remember to show you the trampoline pictures. Let's see if I can show them to you here. Now, I'll put them up. They should be on my drive. I'm going to put them up. Enjoy the rest of the trampoline pictures. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.